Yeah, I showed you. Um, well, I mean, I got this. Which did not provide any light. All right, well, what's life medicine? Does that re uh, restore health? Restores life, yeah. Wow. I can heal if I wanted. Um, okay. Come on. I can't see a thing. Oh. I found something. Torch! Wave with the circle button. Uh, press repeatedly to swing around. Light or put out fire with the square button. Which in this case would be the L2. Uh, uh, is it a weapon? Oops. Is it, is it a weapon? It is a weapon. Alrighty then. Cool. Cool beans. Woo! Hello, snake! Gotcha. And that's a dead end. Well then. Is there a map? There certainly is. Alright, there's some more diverging paths. And investigate. Man, does this torch last forever? That'd be pretty dope. Back it on up. Back it on up. Back it- oh. Oh, I'm disoriented. A lot of these, uh, frogs in here. Oh, hello, Snick. What do we got here? Serum. Skeleton. Don't give up, Mr. Skeleton. Uh, more bats. And a snake. Mostly just worried about the snake. <gasps> Light at the end of the tunnel. Not the bees. Hey, that works. I caught you at last. We are the sons of the boss. I am the pain. Oh, dear. world of anguish beyond your imagination. Let's get started. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to phone a friend on this one. The has the power to control swarms of hornets at will. Watch out for his hornet-based attacks. Not even the pain's special breed of hornets will be able to follow you underwater. You're a good swimmer, right? If you're being harassed by any hornets, dive into the water. I figured that Not much. Not even the pain's special breed of hornets will be able to follow you underwater. Okay. As long as the pain is using his hornets to protect his body, you won't be able to damage him with gun attacks. You'll need to use a grenade to get uh. the hornets warm first. Go into first person view and throw a grenade at him. Get rid of those hornets protecting him and then attack him with a gun. The pain seems to be directing swarms of hornets to attack you. Be careful. If you're attacked by a swarm of hornets, your life will steadily decrease. When the hornets come to attack you, you can cause the swarm to scatter by shooting at it with your gun. Also, the 
Hornets can't follow you into the water, so you can get away by diving into the water. Hornets are also vulnerable to fire and smoke. You can keep them away from you by using a smoke grenade. Swinging a torch around using a CQC button should also work. Cool. Snake, watch out for those bullet bees he shoots. Bullet bees. Bullet are bees. The special hornets he raises inside his own body. And if Ew, they get what? into your body, your wounds will become worse and worse until you get rid of them. If you're afflicted by bullet bees, go into the survival viewer immediately and Ew. use cure to keep them out with your knife. Ew. Once the bullet bees are out, don't forget to apply styptic and disinfectant to the wound. Okay. The pain is said to possess the power to control his hornets at will. Watch out for insect-based attacks, especially his so-called bullet bees. The pain doesn't just use hornets. He's got guns and grenades in his arsenal, too. Oh, good. Be especially careful about those grenades. Snake, watch out for those bullet bees. Watch out, man. Bullet bee is the pet name the pain gave to a special type of hornet that he keeps inside his body. When the pain gives the order, they fly at their target like bullets, burrow into his body, and eat away at his insides until he's dead. If you get hit by a bullet bee, go into the survival viewer right away and heal yourself on the cure screen. That being said, despite the name, a bullet bee is really just a type of hornet. They can't follow you into the water. If the pain launches any at you, dive under the water. The pain can supposedly use his hornets to create a copy of himself and confuse the enemy. What? If he does that, try and figure out which one is real and attack him. That's when absurd. He himself, the hornets that normally protect him will be used to create the double. That means you'll be able to damage him with a gun. But be warned, if you screw up and shoot the double, or you take too long to shoot, you'll get hit with a counterattack. Dang, dude. Alright. Oh no. Oh, there's a croc. There's a crocodile. Back at you. Oh! <laughs> Yikes. Oh, I'm out of ammo. What is on me right now? Oh no. What the heck, man? All the fish are dead. Got fart gas. Get out of here.
Did I do it? No, oh, he's just getting started. Oh, he's ugly. Oh yeah? Okay. He's just getting started. I'm I'm being I'm being bullet bead. Oh oh dear. Does it need suffering from a oh bandage? No? Ointment. No? Okay. Cigar cigar. I did it. Okay. I need to heal myself. The slowdown is real. The slowdown is real. Uh, thanks, capture card. Oh, right, I already have it equipped. Oh, I overshot it. Of course I did. Oh, good. Cool. Fart gas. That all you got? What am I? What am, I forget what I'm doing. Smoke. Yeah, that'll that'll teach him. Or not.
Yeah, did you miss me? I need normal grenades again. Uh, ah. Oh, the inventory management is uh, sure is something. Oh, I did it! First try. Almost died. That's okay. IP in peace, the pain? Yeah. Well, let's save the game after that. Oh, that's the wrong button. Wow. You want to save? Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. Snake, have you seen 007 from Russia with Love? I don't like those movies. Real spies are nothing like James Bond. It's pure fantasy. Snake, I don't think the Major's going to like you saying that. Yeah. And even though it's fiction, I can't help but He's compare myself Bond to Bond. Fan. What exactly don't you like about James Bond? I mean, is it the fantastic gadgets? The cars? The guns? Major. Snake, wouldn't you like to have a gun shaped like a pen? What good is a pen gonna do me in the jungle? I'd look like a fool. Then what about a snake-shaped gun? You can make it look like you're grappling with a giant snake and then get a shot in on the enemy while they're distracted. Oh, heck yeah. Now you're being ridiculous. We'll make you a snake-shaped gun that folds off and fits into an attaché case. Will you give it a rest? Oh, I get it. You're worried about how to handle the ladies, aren't you? No. I knew it. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I don't like the idea of playing hanky-panky with enemy femme fatales either. But that's part of Bond's appeal. You could learn a thing or two from him. I mean, what about this Eva? What are you planning to do with her? I... Uh... I don't even trust her yet. No, that's not what I mean. You you can't let yourself get involved. This is a game of spy versus spy. She's using you just as much as you're using her. I realize that. You've got to grab the initiative. And to do that, you have to get the upper hand in the relationship. That's what a spy is supposed to do. D uh, uh, get the upper hand. I don't think I'm cut out for that mission. Maybe if you change your code name to 00 Snake. Teacher. 007 is the biggest thing to come out of England since the Mayflower. I wouldn't be surprised if they made 20 more of those movies. Didn't you? Ha 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 ha. Major is a huge James Bond fan. Don't get him worked up like this. Worked up? Maybe you don't realize this, but now that you've got him started talking about Bond, I'm going to have to listen to him lecture for a whole hour after he gets off the radio. You have my sympathy. Too bad you can't enjoy such a great movie, though. Bro. I guess I'm just one of those people who can't enjoy spy flicks. I live the spy flick. The exit from the cave should be toward the back. Proceed through the cave and find the exit to the swamp aqueduct. Snake, you beat the pain. Not without a tough fight. How did it feel to fight one of the boss's comrades? What are you getting at? I just want to know what it's like to have fought a member of the legendary Cobra unit. That's all. What you want to know is if I can really face the boss. Is that right? Well, that too. Don't waste your time worrying about me. I'll get the mission done. I certainly hope so. So the exit of the cave is up ahead? Right. Go to the end of the cave and you'll come out in an aqueduct overgrown with mangroves. This leads to the Ponizovie Swamp. Eva, where are you now? I told you, didn't I? I'm right near the Colonel. Pretty weak answer, if you ask me. I suppose you're right. Eva. Snake, I'm under orders to cooperate with you, but that doesn't mean I have to tell you everything I know. I would assume the same applies to you, too. I see you've caught yourself a Kenyan mangrove crab. 
The Kenyan mangrove crab is I a did? mangrove When did crab. I do that? It lives in burrows dug near seashores and mangrove swamps. It's not poisonous, but it might hurt a little if it attacks you with its pinchers. Treat it with caution. Got it. So this thing must taste pretty good, huh? I mean, it is a crab. Why do you say must? It's a crab, isn't it? It is. And crabs are good to eat. What's so good about them? You don't like crab? Not at all. Why crab not? is delicious, Why? but How can you eat those things? it's so They're annoying to actually stripes. eat. And they stink like cat To me. Like, you gotta work on cracking opinion. open the shell, Thanks. and then if, like, you do it wrong, it's a pain Let's in the butt. Let's see here. The guide says... No way. It says they're delicious. Well, if you want to eat one, then go right ahead, but count me out. Mm. Seafood. Excellent source of zinc and, and stuff. The exit from the cave should be... Alright, 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 alright. Uh... You know what? Right, I'm gonna explore this. Real quick, and then save again. Oh! I was not paying attention to my oxygen meter. Isn't that a thing? Okay, there's nothing in here. Clearly nothing in here. Hey, this works. Okay, save the game again. Do you want to save? Snake, have you heard of The Last War? Nope, doesn't ring a bell. It's a Japanese movie where the world ends in a nuclear war. Tensions between East and West reach the breaking point, and before anyone can stop it, they launch the ICBMs. Humanity is wiped out by a war that no one wanted. The movie depicts that destruction from the eyes of ordinary people. Their simple daily lives are torn apart by the terrible power of a war that has nothing to do with them. Everybody's afraid of the next big war, but there's only so much that one person can do. That's why the people who have the power to stop it have to. Dang, dude. Right, let's continue. Crikey, look at the size of them trout. Dingo baby. Dang, dude, what a crazy cave ravine. What sort of horrible thing are we going to encounter this time? Wow. Freaking dudes on hovercrafts? Oh. Let us eat. Eat the croc. What can I say? Eat more croc. Can't complain. So the the amount of HP or the amount of H uh, the amount of stamina it uh, I can't speak right now. <laughs> the amount of stamina it recovers is based on how it tastes. I I guess. Yo! I hunted the fruit. Oh, it's got stuff in it. What is a D-Med anyway? I've never, I didn't, um, actually look and see what that stuff does. Okay, it's not there, apparently. Well, there's the fruit. It's a false mango. It's a deceptive lying mango. Yeah, it's nowhere to be seen. Whoa! Oh, that's right. I picked up this face paint when I had to replay that one section. Back at the enemy base camp. So yeah, I can be a zombie. I can be like Ghost from Call of Duty. Yay. Oh, oops. Wrong button. I don't know where this med thing could be. Is it like a little medical box? I don't know, dude. Oh! I did not see that claymore. Oh, careful. I'm gonna have to patch myself up in a second. 
Oh, snake, you done goofs now. I got a burn from that explosion? Okay. Uh, no bandage, no ointment. Ointment. Bandage. Cool. Just a little singed, that's all. We're good. That's a new type of mushroom. Oh wait, I gotta I gotta see what it is. Oh, it's the wrong menu. Oh. Um Let's get rid of one of the other mushrooms. Our mushroom E. I see you've caught yourself a Kenyan mangrove crab. Didn't we already see this one? Crab, isn't it? It is. I think we did. Crabs are awesome. It's just annoying to eat them. I see you found some Russian glow caps. The Russian glow cap is a kind of luminescent fungus, a mushroom that glows in the dark. Why would a mushroom glow in the dark? It's bioluminescent, just like a firefly. It uses the so-called luciferin luciferase reaction. To put it simply, luciferin reacts with luciferase in the presence of magnesium 2 plus ions, breaking it down into oxyluciferin and carbon dioxide. The carbonyl groups in the oxyluciferin are initially in an electrical excited state. When they return to their base state, they give off light. Did you get all that? Not really. Oh. By the way, does that mushroom recharge your batteries when you eat it? Huh? I mean, it seems what? like if you ate a glowing mushroom, it might recharge your batteries or something. Snake, your batteries are organic batteries. They produce electricity by utilizing the potential difference between cells. Organic batteries are known for their highly efficient energy conversion, but they still rely on chemical reactions between proteins and enzymes to... So you're saying they'll get recharged? Believe what you want. Right. Great! I d it d snake. I thought you were educated. Well, that battery is fully charged, and so is that. So what, it's based off of, um, Snake's energy level? That they'll recharge? Oh hey, more mushroom. I'm full though. It's okay. Oh, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Wow, that looks... That looks, um... That looks menacing. Actually. Very menacing. Okay. Oh, look. Check that out. I need my binoculars. Man, those guys look super evil. They're all hunched over and stuff. 